Hello, welcome to Shareability Uganda. My name is Kazuwa Pais. In our self-study lesson today, we shall be looking at vectors and diseases. Uh, what vectors are? Vectors are living organs that spread disease, germs. Germs are living organs that cause diseases. So the work of the vectors is, is to spread germs that cause us diseases. Examples of common vectors include house flies, saucer flies, cockroaches, mosquitoes, fleas, black fly, ticks, lice, mud dogs, mites, water snails, and etc. Insect vectors include house flies, saucer flies, cockroaches, mosquitoes, and then animal vectors include mud dogs or rabies, rabies dogs. Life cycle of insect vectors. There are two types of life cycles, namely complete metamorphosis. This is the life cycle with four stages of development, which include uh, eggs, larva, pupa, and then adult. Examples of vectors which undergo complete metamorphosis include house flies, mosquitoes, black flies, and etc. This is a diagram showing a complete metamorphosis. Uh, which includes eggs, larva, pupa, and then the adult. Incomplete metamorphosis is the life cycle with only with only three stages of growth, which include the eggs, the knife, and adult. Examples of vectors that undergo incomplete metamorphosis include cockroaches, fleas, lice, and etc. This is a diagram of an incomplete metamorphosis with only eggs, knife, and adult. The life cycle of a housefly. The life cycle of a housefly is a complete metamorphosis which includes eggs, larva, larva stage, and for a housefly, the larva stage has three parts. It has the first stage, the second larva stage, and the third larva stage, and then to the pupa, and finally to the adult. Structure of a housefly. This is how a housefly looks like with one set of transpar transparent wings, short hairs on, ab on the abdomen, small antenna, six legs, two large compound eyes. This is spread by a housefly include dysentery. There are two types of dysentery, namely, which include amoebic dysentery caused by amoeba and bachelor dysentery called by caused by a bacteria. Dysentery is caused by the following germs, the bacteria Shigella, the bacteria and the protozoa. For the bacteria it is called Shigella dysentery and then for the protozoa it is the antimoeba dysentery. Signs and symptoms of dysentery include severe, stain, severe diarrhea stained with blood, loss of appetite for eating, dehydration, the body loses a lot of water, and among others how dysentery is, prev is prevented how can we prevent dysentery dysentery can be prevented by defecating in toilets all the time uh, keeping toilets or latrines clean washing hands before touching or eating any food washing fruits and vegetables before eating them destroying all bleeding all breeding places all breeding, not bleeding, all breeding places of houseflies to stop them from multiplying or reproducing in Naba. How dysentery is spread? Dysentery is spread by drinking contaminated water, by flies falling on our food. Flies, remember flies like dirty places. So after playing in dirty places, they come and sit on our food, spreading germs. Eating contaminated food is also another way of getting dysentery. Another disease spread by a housefly is cholera, which is, which is an infectious disease that can, which is very deadly and can kill within 6 to 24 hours. It is caught by a, a, a bacteria called Vibrio cholera. Signs and symptoms of cholera include serious diarrhea, vomiting, body weakness, dehydration, among others. How do we control or prevent cholera? By using latrines daily and cleaning them daily. 
covering leftover food to avoid flies spraying on top of our food, our leftover food. Washing hands with soap and water to remove germs. Washing fruits and vegetables before eating them and boiling, drinking water. Another disease caused by housefly is typhoid which is a fever caused by a bacteria called Salmonella typhi. Typhoid is spread by drinking an unboiled contaminated water and by flies falling on our food or eats. Signs and symptoms of sim, signs and symptoms of typhoid include persistent fever with headache, increasing body pain and diarrhea and abdominal pain. How do we prevent typhoid or control it? by covering all foods and drinks, using of latrines or toilets, drinking clean boiled water, observing good food hygiene, washing hands with clean water and soap before eating food, washing hands with clean water and soap after visiting a latrine. Another disease called, caused by housefly is trachoma. Trachoma is a highly contagious and infectious disease which affects the eyes. It is caused by a virus called chlamydia. Trachoma is spread through sharing of the same basin of water with an infected person, shaking hands with another person infected with trachoma and then transfer and then transfer of the hands to the eyes or other soft parts like the ears, nose and the mouth. Sharing of towels and handkerchiefs with an infected person. Signs and symptoms of trachoma include readiness and itches and readiness, readiness and itching of the eyes, swelling of the eyelids, pain while looking at bright lights, water ready stage from the eyes are some of the symptoms and signs of trachoma. Prevention and control of trachoma, avoid sharing basins and avoid sharing basins, towels and other clothing or handkerchiefs with infected people, avoid shaking hands with an infected person, getting treatment as soon as you realize that or as soon as you see some signs and symptoms of trachoma. Diarrhea is also another disease caused by a housefly. It is caused by a bacteria or a virus or sometimes worms. These germs enter our bodies when we eat or drink contaminated water or food. Most diarrhea can spread by can be spread by the four Fs, which include feces, flies, food, and then fingers in that order. Thank you for watching Shareability Uganda. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for watching the various videos that are posted here on this channel. May God bless you.